تقوم وزارة البيئة والشؤون المناخية بنشر الكثير من المعلومات والبيانات المفتوحة في الموقع الإلكتروني بالشبكة العنكبوتية يتم الاستفادة من هذه المعلومات وهذه البيانات في البحوث والدراسات سواء كان من خلال الأكاديميين داخل السلطنة أو خارج السلطنة يتم توظيف هذه المعلومات في كل من كل القطاعات يتم الاستفادة منها البيانات والمعلومات هذه تخص قطاع البيئة صون الطبيعة وشون المناخية. We hope that releasing some of our environmental information to public as open data can help us become more transparent and it can help us to provide society with empowerment tools they need to contribute in making our environmental sustainable. We have always welcomed requests from public asking for information about the environment in Oman. Our open data initiative is another reflection of our commitment to public engagement. We're very excited to hear about the Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs new data initiatives to have uh, data made publicly available and accessible to the society, the public at large, as well as students. We feel that uh, especially students could greatly benefit from having access to environmental data and understanding what kinds of data the Ministry has been collecting over the years uh, to be able to use this data innovatively and um, proceed with conservation measures needed. In developing Mika Open Data Platform, we have considered international requirement standards and benchmark through the successful practice. All the way from collecting the data and publishing the data, legally open, technically usable, readable, and downloadable. Mika Open Data has been classified under eight main categories, bearing in mind the source of the data, technology used to publish the data, ranging from e-services, live e-services, to GIS and uh, GeoMaps that are used in satellite data as well. We've also bear in mind the, the, uh, the videos that are in, date in, in Maker that are presented as open data. The applications used uh, ensure interactivity of the data in terms of using the maps or in terms of charts that are presented under the different uh, e-services and different uh, information and data shared with the public. There are no serious legal restrictions on using open data published by Mika because Mika has adopted the Omani Open Government License. This license allows using the data for both non-commercial and commercial purposes, free of charge and without the need to acquire any permission as long as the source of the data is mentioned somewhere. For example, if a journalist uses Mika Open Data to create an infographic, the journalist should state somewhere that the source of the data is Mika. We consider Mika Open Data Initiative uh, to be still at an early stage and uh, the data that we currently publish is only a small part of what we hope to publish in the future.